Hello Royals, nice to see you here again. This is your regular source of Royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive the earliest notification. Princess Eugenie reveals life in the public eye left her with issues around food due to scrutiny over her appearance. Princess Eugenie has revealed having a couple of issues around food due to scrutiny over her appearance. The king's niece also discussed having dinner with the late Queen Elizabeth II and her work around modern slavery on an episode of the Table Manners podcast, due to be released today. Hosted by singer Jessie Ware and her mother Lenny, the weekly podcast describes itself as being about food, family, and the beautiful art of having a chat. Whether she was fed up with people being critical about what she wore or if she looked tired, Eugenie said. I think that definitely has caused a couple of issues around food. You know, for me, in terms of my relationship with that, or my relationship with having to look a certain way because it's always like, that was not a nice outfit, or she looked terrible there, I guess everybody has that if you're in the public eye. I guess within our family, it happens at that perfect age where you're, you know, 13 years old and you've got that dorky bull haircut and you're a bit chubby and you know, all the boys are bullying you and all that kind of stuff, Eugenie, the daughter of the Duke of York and Sarah Duchess of York, now lives in Portugal with her husband Jack Brooksbank and their two sons, August, two, and Ernest, who was born in May, she continued. This is why Portugal is the dream because I can go to the supermarket in my exercise gear and my hair piled on my head and not mind. Not care. No one cares. Among the other topics the princess discussed on the podcast was the etiquette expected when eating with her grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, Eugenie said the family used table manners a when together, including having no knees at the table and children eating spaghetti bolognese. Elaborating further, she said, I guess it's just you're not getting down from the table until you can get down from the table, like, tea was at five. And it was only ever, like, 45 minutes so you can never get stir-crazy and then we'd go running everywhere afterwards around the house like crazy people." The princess then answered questions about her Floodlight podcast, which highlights issues of modern slavery and is on its second season, which she started alongside Julia de Boinville, co-founder of the Anti-Slavery Collective. Asked about her decision to pursue the venture, Eugenie said she first learned about the broader scope of slavery on a visit to India aged 21, she said, it's simple things like you know. Being aware that someone could be enslaved at your local nail bar or in a car wash, or in construction and things like that, it's not something in far-flung places that you might not go to. It can happen within a mile of where you live in the UK and around you, so it's just about, where are your clothes from? Have you asked someone if they're okay? If they don't look happy? Or that kind of thing. And it's about empathy and kindness as well. Eugenie also opened up about her experiences at boarding school and at university in Newcastle. She explained how she lived in halls before moving into a house with friends and having house parties, adding, I then did all the normal things. Yeah, I loved it. It was a really special time. So what do you think about this news guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty until then thank for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.